Saha, what the fuck, bro? We were waiting for your damn album for years, man. What the fuck is Kanye doing? How would you get the fuck up and get something done? Drop that shit! What's up, what's up? It's your boy Sneaky Q with Mott Magazine. We got a special guest. Good music. Artist. Ivy State. Definitely. Saha the Prince. What's going Saha on? Saha the Prince. What's up, brother? Not much, man. Long day, but we, you know, we working. So you took the world by storm when you released that track. Mm -hmm. August 5th. Okay. Let's jump into the track, man. It's Elephant in the Room. Mm -hmm. uh, Elephant in the Room, it was a creative record that I just thought that we could get everybody's attention like I thought it would. Um, and, you know, it was just, you know, just addressing the truth and addressing just, you know, it's a question I get all day. Like, it drives me nuts. So I know my fans are just so adamant about it. So I just felt like it was a creative way to put it out. So, if, you know, if you do come to me, it's a different question you probably ask me. Yeah. So it's just a creative way of putting it in the world. And, you know, it seemed like that's how a lot of people were feeling by the response I got from it. And then the other people who, who try to make it a beef or something, like he's really in the trunk at the moment. It's like, well, I do feel that you have to really dig deep into the track to really understand it. I really think it was like a genius track, right. you know, and it was good for marketing as well. Uh -huh. So if you were able to drop an album anytime soon, people will be checking for it just for the simple fact of that track. Definitely. Because it was such a genius track. Definitely. So you always talk about you being like lyrical. You can go with anyone in the game. Uh -huh. Where did that confidence come from, man? Um, Growing up, man, it, uh, like, I, the people don't know I started battle rapping. Was like, I, I, I didn't have a studio at the time. Real battle rap? No, like, real battle real, rap. Real, okay, okay. Like, I mean, it wasn't no leagues like it is now. It was just, like, all the New York dudes getting a cypher, and I just do y'all dirty one by one. So that's why it helped me get my bars up, because I knew I didn't get in there with them until I was ready. Because they was, like, at another, they was just embarrassing all my partners from the neighborhood. Like, bro, don't let him do that to you again. So I just was I was just looking at the ciphers all the time, like, man, y'all are destroying my partners. So I just went home and just got myself together and you know, after that it was kinda like definitely, definitely. So being part of good music, you're able to learn from the likes of someone in the industry like Kanye West, mm -hmm. who's a pioneer. Right. You know, you spoke earlier, you know, in your press conference about him carrying the flag. Mm -hmm. You know, just being that person that's just gonna dare, do the daring thing. Right. What have you learned from Kanye? Um have ultimate confidence in what you do. You know what I mean? Um, you know, a lot of times, like even with my situation, you know, I'll be a little humble, a lot more humble than I should, because I'm, people think I'm better than a lot of people, but I'm like, just play the background, humble guy, but he wants me to go turn up. Like, he like, yo, it's that time, so. You know, that's why I say, he, nothing malicious in the record or nothing, he was all in on it, he heard it a few times. Bunch of different people heard it, so you know, I just feel like at that point is where me and him decided that you know it was time for me to go on and do do what I do and show the world why he feels like I'm one of the dopest people Definitely. that he's met. Yeah. So you speak on your beliefs, you know, child of God. You know, you always talk about you know it's his time. Right. So, and you just alluded just now. You said it's the perfect time right, right. now. The time is now. Why do you feel it took, you know, long or, you know, could have been earlier? You know, you felt like you should have been in, like, somebody like a Big Sean mm -hmm. or some of the other guys that's kind of, like, in the industry right now. Like, why do you feel it took so long? I mean, because they don't really have to overcome the stigma. Like, I'm, like somebody said today, you're too brave. And I was like, what you mean? She was like, because you could easily just do this type of record or do this type of thing. And invite all your street partners out and turn up in the club and you that dude. I just never wanted to be him. I always wanted to be that person where the fan connected to him, the fan, you know, said really learned something from the music and got something from it. So in a nutshell with me is I just want to put out something that's dope, that's good, and I feel like it's that time where, you know, different artists like your J. Cole's, your Kendrick's, your your crits or whoever, your ASAP, guys who at least trying and, or putting these real songs and real bars together. I said, okay, it's that time. Now I feel like Atlanta is noticing those different type of artists too. So, okay, now y'all playing the sport. I know how to play. Definitely. At first it was like, 
I can't. I'm not a good. I'm not good at lacrosse. Yeah. For someone who <laughs> follow your music a lot, I know that you aren't the typical Atlanta artist. Uh-huh. You know, like we spoke earlier about it being like, I feel sometimes that Atlanta music is some one dimension. You know, and you you said you agree to a certain extent. Uh-huh. So how do you feel about the Atlanta music compared to all of the up north music? Now what I say is, it's, it's more so of, um, it's not really the artists, because the artists gonna make the music they make. It's, it's just different type of artists, it's just those artists are the one with the check. So it's different, like we, like I said, you go in the club, you say, hey man, you want a drink? Play this record, you know what I'm saying? The most you can give is pizza, like, something like that. Then you just got this dude coming to sting with all these chains on, from this neighborhood, from, you know what I mean, around the corner, whatever. He give my man two bands, 3,500, like, so how we love you, but I got to take care of my partner right here. So it's like, me, I'm like, yo, okay, cool. But any in any other state, they would just judge me on these bars. You know what I'm saying? You and definitely got the bars. Yeah, yeah. That's why I say, like, you want that typical Atlanta. Exactly. And, you know, and I can tell from, like you said, your, your battle rap background. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about the album. Now, I know you got an album or something coming for your fans. Uh-huh. Well, um, yeah, we're working on it right now. I just don't have a, a particular date because I'm I got some last business ventures I'm doing to help it do what it do. But it'll be out shortly. Um, Hardway Musical is still the same thing. And um, we're just working towards it. You know what I mean? And a lot of it's done. We've been we've been working on it. We I've been working on it all my life actually. And um, these I took I even got songs that. I never thought I would revamp, but I had to because it goes with the story so well. How many tracks can we expect from this album? Um, it depends now. I don't really know yet. You don't really know. I'm going to wait till I get that. Because I know you're sitting on a bunch of different. I know yeah. you're sitting on like, the, not the 15. I know you're sitting on about 20, 30 songs. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I, I got a lot of songs to choose from, but I want to. You know, just because I have a lot of songs don't mean they all fit the story. Exactly. I'm not going just because it's a hit record, it's the best record. No, it's got what fits the content of this album. So, briefly, let's talk about how you break down from, you know, choose the songs that you want to put on the album. Especially with, with an album that everybody anticipated mm-hmm. just for the simple fact that everybody waiting for that album. Yeah. Well, I can't really... If I tell you, then everybody be sounding like me. You know what I mean? Because that's just is what it is these days. But, um... I really sat down and got with my team and, you know, I kind of gave them my life, gave them, let them research, let them talk to different people around me because I don't know how to make up raps in so many words. I'm, I'm, I'm not that creative. I have to write from what I've already experienced. And once I get to that point, it's kind of easy for me to, you know, paint the picture and tell the story. But if I'm trying to, like, that record, Elephant in the Room, is probably, like, one of the hardest tracks I ever had to write because... It has some kind of is it non-fiction, non-fictional, and that means when it's false. Okay, I learned a little something. <laughs> non-fictional, you know what I mean? Thoughts and things in it, so I had to be creative and go on. But my music is the truth. It's the word of God. It's it's the story. It's the message. It's the yeah. It's that real nigga shit. Definitely. What I feel like this is the real nigga shit. Like this is the thing that. We don't speak on, like I said, I'm not a Friday and Saturday rapper. Definitely. I'm going to speak on the real things and the issues that's going on in our community. How important do you think music being factual and non-factual it is to the industry? I mean, you know, you got sci-fi movies. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? When you go watch a movie, you see your sci-fis and your ETs or whatever. But you also got your boys in the hood. You also got your real movies and your documentaries. So it's just different type of movies. You got cartoon movies. You got a lot of things. I just always believe that if music is made for the fans, and the fans are people, then the music should be able to be able to relate to the fans and mm-hmm. to the people that's listening. Exactly. Which means it should be factual. Factual, definitely. All right, man. But well, you like, so you don't like Harry Potter? I no, I don't. I, mean, I don't I, either. I don't, but it's people do. It's people I don't, do. It's people do. <laughs> but I like to be able to relate to the artists. I really right, relate right. to music. Right. Like I like to be able. To, oh man, I remember. You know, right. I can relate to that. You know, exactly. I remember going to. It. I remember having a girl this, that, and the third. So I'm with it completely, man. But we wish you the best of luck, man. Oh man, appreciate we you, checking, man. We checking for you. We Thank checking you, for man. you, man. Saha so the Prince. He's your boy, Sneaky Q, Mop Magazine. Hey. Peace. For sure.